Hi, my name is Eric Kelly. I'm working with uh, Kira and Kira Levier on the Riga Central Train Station. And today we're in one of our new guys' wind tunnels. And we thought we'd perform some small visualizations so you can get a sense of wind flow patterns throughout and around the development. You can also see our standing on the proximity wall. This takes into account the immediate surrounding effects of downtown Riga and their influence they have on the train station. So here we can see, as I said earlier, we're approaching from the northwest, and I'll just take the small one. And we can see that uh, uh, from an unimpeded direction, uh, the wind is actually quite, it speeds up quite a bit. But as I bring it down towards the model and this leading edge, we can see it slows a little bit. And Greg, if you take the one a little bit closer to this point, we can see right here, there's some shedding of the wind right off the top roof, we'll bring it back a little bit closer towards you. And what's happened is these two pressure taps that I can see, this row along here, yeah, we can really uh, we can really see it separating right there. If you bring the wand, right, maybe turn it 90 degrees, uh, no downward. And then if we bring the wand down in here, we can see that the flow will it slows down significantly. Uh, so this this generally indicates both low wind loads. And it'll be fairly fairly common in terms of pedestrian access and pedestrian comfort. In this particular direction, we're approaching basically from due west. And you can see that, again, I like to use this as a reference point to show the wind basically unimpeded by any of the neighboring structures. So when I'm right at grade level, you can see the wind is it's fairly uh, turbulent, I would say uh, a little bit incoherent or uh, not coherent. Um, and that's because uh, it's so low to the ground and there's some upwind structures behind me. And like I said, when I pull it up here, it speeds up and it goes over top of the roof quite gently, uh, quite nicely, it hugs the shape quite well. We had uh, some hot spots as well, similar to the north side of the the turbo. Sorry, it does influence us quite a bit. And then even when I bring the smoke wand down, you can see how much the flow uh, subsides uh, or is, is really uh, quite curtailed by the neighboring movements. And again, just for a relation perspective, I bring it up to here and then bring it down, it really, really slows down quite a bit. Um, I get it. Yeah, it's, it's really quite slow. The shape actually benefits it quite a bit. It's really, from my vantage point, I hope the viewers can see this, in these sections where the trains will come through, it's actually quite low. So in terms of pedestrians and people pulling up to the train station, it should be quite comfortable. So I hope uh, the smoke visualization we did today in the wind tunnel was informative, and the project team will be in touch soon with some results. And if there's anything else you want to see, certainly let us know, and I hope you enjoyed the video shoot today. Thank you.